What's good, dingus of all ages? It's Death Hog here, and today we have a pretty interesting topic to talk about, and it kind of relates to what was revealed, I think, two days ago now at, was it C3 or whatever? CE? Something? Something along those lines. It's like E3, but not as big. Alright. It's where they've unveiled the Steam boxes and such. such. That. Yeah, so, PlayStation has a su surprise announcement of PlayStation Now, and... What it basically is, is a video game streaming subscription service that you basically you subscribe and you can play all of the old PlayStation games. I don't know what kind of uh, games specifically you can play. I don't know if it's just first party or third party. I, uh, I just, it's just like any game that was certified to be on the PlayStation, you'll probably be able to play. But it is a subscription based service, so you'll have to subscribe for like monthly probably like yearly just like just like PlayStation Plus but now the speculation begins if once you do the subscription do you have access to all the games that well, we seriously doubt that like I don't think that would be possible what they might what they said is if you don't have a lot of money you could just rent the game for like a specific amount of time like a week you could like rent a digital copy of that game but People might think it might be included with PlayStation Plus. I really don't think it's going to be because that's... It might. 50 bucks. You don't know. It might be you have the subscription and that would lower the price on some of the things. Like, say you subscribe to PlayStation Now. You want to get Borderlands 2. It's usually like... Probably like 40 bucks maybe. 40 bucks and you can get Borderlands 2. Now, if you say you're subscribed to the service, like that was not, not subscribed, this is you're subscribed to the service, maybe it's only 20 bucks and you have it. So now, for the duration of that service, you have that game and you bought it for $10 cheaper. And maybe it's like a $10 monthly thing so you can keep the games. And then, maybe on top of that, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you get the price reduction even more because you don't need a PlayStation product to like you can't you don't have to be on the PlayStation to actually do this you're gonna be on um, whatever Sony's TV it's not just Sony TVs it's some other kind of TV the Vita the PS3 the PS4 it all it works for all of them. all right and so when they unveiled that they showed the last of us and they got a lot of, they got a lot of people thinking including myself what about GTA now it was it was unofficially announced that uh, GTA will be coming to the next generations, just like Ghosts and Battlefield and uh, whatever the other thing was. To the, the next generation, March 12th, I think. But it also mo most likely will also be available on this PS Now service. So if if they do end up doing that, I think it'll probably be better for them to release a new copy of it. Uh, going back to what I said earlier. With the, the PS3 games, most of them could just be upgraded with the $10 thing and you just upgrade the discs. Just like how they did with the Battlefield discs. Like if you have the Battlefield disc for PlayStation, you can just upgrade it for $10. Bucks. They'll probably end up making a port like that on the PlayStation now. So if you have any of those discs, you could buy the uh, the right to upgrade them. You can spend the $10 from the service and then you could put, put the disc in you can upgrade it. Something along those lines. Maybe like the PS1 games will be free because they're really old. But... GTA, I hope, is not like that's not the only way to get it because I really want to get my hands on this game. But too bad you gotta wait two more months, hopefully. And I keep going back to my PS3 just to play this and get the footage like me and Drummer Nick right here screwing around. Yeah, so PlayStation Now, is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? You guys decide down in the comments. I love reading you guys' comments, so leave your feedback down there. And it's been real. Death Hog is out, and don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. We just passed 65, 67 subscribers, and I will talk to you. Think this is later. I'm out.